What happens when a creature that's outlived the dinosaurs meets modern life in a fast-changing place like Turkey? What is the future for these living dinosaurs in Turkey? Through evolution, from the fishes, through the reptiles, to the birds and mammals like us, these reptiles have stood the test of time, a very long time. Tourism is comparatively brand new and it moves fast. Can Turkey help its turtles to survive? The ancient fort between Fethiye with the Turkish flag is a reminder of its government's apparent support for the conservation of its coast. Tourism is a number one priority around here, employing many boats and their crews. Next to the tourist boats are the fishing boats. The old design survives, but the ways to catch fish have moved on and now long plastic lines, each with a bait on a single hook, can stretch for miles across the Mediterranean. And drift nets trap their prey to be sold in the local restaurant where those turtle-loving tourists choose to eat. But other things are caught too. As night falls, a female turtle feels the urge to lay. But what was once a dark, quiet beach is now something very different. At Callis Bay, sunbeds are also moonbeds, a deterrent to any expectant turtle. Noise, lights, people. The animals that attract the tourists to this place are not a Turkish delight but something of a considerable concern to the authorities, particularly in European terms, as tourists will find out. Callis Beach by day looks a charming place with its promenade and palm trees, but it's mostly a no-go area for turtles looking for a place to lay, except perhaps for a gap in the carpet of 24-hour sunbeds. If she has to wait too long, she will lose her eggs at sea. For the local fishermen, this seems a good place to park. Certainly there is nothing to tell them this is an SBA, that dogs are not allowed. Whether it's people or horses, any eggs that do get laid are at risk, beneath feet or hooves. And dogs may dig up eggs or kill hatchlings. Tires, whether they be on a minibus, cars or adventurous quad bikes, can squash turtle nests if they go on the beach. The English love their animals and their wildlife, but they may not love the Sunset Beach Club if they knew the truth. Starting in 2004, it bulldozed the area, filling in a major wetland rich in wildlife. It built a jetty and placed a children's playground near a previous nesting spot, now deserted by the turtles. In 2009, not a single nest was found here, as a volleyball pitch was added. Right next door at the surf cafe, nature is not what it seems. A sparrow may look as if it's out there on the grass just by the sea and growing on the beach but it's plastic grass, astroturf, down from five nests to one as the carpet spreads. Next door again, real grass, long grass, once a lawn, now a derelict motel, a sign of the times perhaps. But close by, builders work on a new investment, despite the apparent warning they buy. Further along the beach, a disco is being born, plus pool, with a bigger pool a few metres from the beach. So the turtles turn back at the last piece of this two and a half kilometre Callis Beach, as it's claimed by tourism. So this is the end of it. Whether it's food, sunbeds, plastic grass, imported sand, it's all an attempt to attract customers whether they're local or from abroad, especially the UK and Germany. If it's not permanent sunbeds, it's permanent tables, where we all like to sit, unaware perhaps of the stress and confusion 
just offshore. So close and so sad. Local people need to earn money from restaurants, bars and hotels in the summer when the tourists come. Unfortunately, exactly when those other visitors come, the turtles... or don't. Despite it being a specially protected area, the number of turtles nesting has dropped steadily as the development has spread westwards along the beach. This is the trend. From 1992 to 2015, can it be helped? Development by the German company was stopped at the Dalian Itsuzu Turtle Beach and the place has prospered both for turtles and people and the rules apply. This beach has been changed by unplanned expansion along its length. Often damage is caused by simply not knowing about the problems faced by turtles which have been using such beaches for millions of years. The same cannot be said for a much more powerful force that affects a group of beaches just along the coast, also in the SPA, the Specially Protected Area. Here at Yonker, this remains a fairly traditional place, old buildings, retired fishermen and a gentle life linked to the land and the sea. Then came different people with different lifestyles new boats and even new trees. Sun beds and walkways of course, but this is no local bar. The jetty tells you this is a bigger business, a business that probably should know better. But here at the Lycia Botanica Hotel, with its disco near the beach, more of the SPA's rules are being broken.